I'm super happy with the effort. I'm super happy for 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 my players and for for the team that we have such a big reward. It's a well-deserved win. I'm I'm super happy. Everything he can do is focused and be ready, and this is what he's doing, and that's why I'm super happy with him. But I'm super happy because for what we put him on the field today, this is totally reliable. Super happy. I'm super happy. Do you think it's um, coincidence? that you're German and that Chelsea need to get the best out of Timo Werner and Kai Hamels? Or am I being very cynical if I sit here and say that's one of the reasons why you were chosen because I think Christian Pulisic, but mainly those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully they talk. If it's like this, then that means they talked good about me, no? He did amazing and half time he told me. He told me, hey, hey coach, you, you, you pronounced the name wrong from, from Aspie. And, uh, uh, and the, the, he helped me with that. So maybe that, that, that was a big help and that's why we love him. I have the biggest respect. I was a huge fan of uh, Frank as a player. It was a pure joy to, to watch him play and, and to see him, how he played, with what personality he played. He was one of the key figures to, to demonstrate uh, in 90 minutes what Chelsea is about about intensity, about devotion, about, about winning mentality. And so I have uh, the biggest respect for him personally and for his legacy. Uh, it just got bigger when I received a message uh, today in the morning and uh, to a personal message to, to wish me all the best to, and, and, and uh, maybe uh, meet in the future when this is possible. Yeah. Two very different styles yeah. of penalty. Yeah. Which do you prefer? I like I like them both because they're both in the net. So there's no I will never judge a player how I will how how to take a penalty. I will never give advice because uh, I played football on a lower level and uh, and uh, you can you can feel the pressure and the ball is is lying on the spot. I don't know if it's true, so it may not be true. But I read somewhere as a, as, a, as a young boy, your favorite club in the Premier League in England was Tottenham Hotspur, is that right? Oh, you're really, you're really digging deep, huh? No, I just, uh, yeah. No, but I want to be, I want to be very honest because we played the, the, the EuroLeague game with Dortmund in Tottenham and everybody there was, was very friendly and uh, I just explained it. When I was young, there was no daily match live on the TV. There was no daily match live from Bundesliga. So what we could, what I could, actually see was one two minutes every four weeks and suddenly a club like Tottenham Hotspurs came across in our in in our in our sports um, sports uh, broadcaster uh, once once every four weeks so suddenly I heard the name Tottenham Hotspurs which was very very uh, sounded like a big adventure and gave me a big advantage on on uh, playing with my friends because they had no idea <coughs> where that where that club was so and then, uh, and I, I, I talked about that story, and I was, uh, yeah, I was young and needed the money, huh? No, but I was, I was young, but it's uh, that was one of my first um, experiences. I did not even know that it's a club from London, but now I'm absolutely aware that I work for the big rivals, and uh, you can be very, very sure that we do everything to 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 beat them next week. This is very easy because I think that NG and Golo fits into every manager's plans on the on the planet. I was uh, like uh, desperate to have him in any any in, in, in my teams. Uh, he's a he's a Chelsea player and uh, he's a big Chelsea player and one of the best midfielders in the world. Off the pitch he's the most stylish man at Chelsea. I've been down to interview him a few times. He wears the best clothes. His beard is always impeccably uh, maintained. How do you how do you cope? How do you come up against him in that respect? Do you are you quite scruffy or do you do, do are you quite good in terms of your clothing compared to the beard room? I, I, I try to close the gap. I try to close the gap. In the moment, it's not possible because I arrived with only one suitcase, so there is no chance for me. Um, but I will, I will try hard to close the gap style-wise, if it's possible. Obviously not. I mean, I have to trust you that the guy is top-notch and highest level. I will try to, to close the gap that it's not embarrassing for, for Oli that, that I'm his coach. I keep reading stories that, uh, about Timo Werner keep reading that he's not happy, I keep reading that um, he may be on his way back to Germany. If I've read it once... Stop reading. Probably, it was, 
speculation, but I, I keep reading it. Stop so. reading. <laughs> Stop reading. I've only really just learned. It's Stop still reading. Book. What do you read? <laughs> read a book. It's better. Read a book. I'm reading a book on Timo Werner. Yeah, there is no, there is no. So there is no book about Timo Werner. So read a book. It's better. Yeah, just a final question from me um, is about Deli Ali. Obviously, he was a, a player who was um, linked. Are you in the right press conference? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> When you watch the, the, the pictures carefully, you will see how young he looks. So uh, he, he runs the stairs up and down. He, 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 he was dressed like a 28 year old. So I think there is still a way to go. I've done some more research and I found out that unlike some managers who maybe like to get a beer after a game when they win, you like to go out for a big celebratory meal. But you're a vegan as well. So what, what was your favorite celebratory meal after a game? I would say if you ask me right this, I, I, I love the pizza and I love the spaghetti bolognese. So no, so I forget that I'm a vegetarian. I try to be vegetarian. I'm not vegan. I, I try hard to be vegetarian and some days it's easier and some days it does not work. Like if I have a good pasta with bolognese, I forget that I try to be vegetarian. So you can have fun with me, no doubt about it. I would prefer maybe a gin tonic if we win against Tottenham instead of a beer. I'm not the beer guy. I'm not the wine guy. And my consume of alcohol goes very, very close to zero. But uh, still, don't, don't confuse it. We can, we can celebrate and we can have a good time. It's no problem.